Welcome to the problem management video training session. This session is taken by me, Purushottaman. We would start with the basics of what a problem is. In simple terms, any hindrance or barrier to us, we call it a problem. Let's jump into the ITL definition of what a problem is. A problem is the unknown cause of one or more incidents often identified as a result of multiple similar incidents. The point to be stressed here is the unknown cause of one or more incident. A problem could be anything which is triggering an incident. Every incident is associated with a problem. Without a problem, an incident will not be triggered. Let's discuss this with a simple example. We all see trees, plants everywhere. As long as there is sufficient groundwater, enough minerals, sunlight, etc. is available, the trees are fresh and green. We, as humans, are able to see only the physical changes that are happening on the tree. These changes are visible to us. But what about the changes that are happening under the root level, which is underground? This region is completely invisible. Example. If there are no sufficient minerals or fertilizers in the sand, the tree might get worn out, leaves would be falling, etc. The problem is with the mineral content in the sand, which is not visible to us, but we come to know or take appropriate action only when we see changes physically on the tree. Any physical changes above the ground is visible to us, but the point where it is triggered is not visible to us. Same is the case with problem management. Unless an incident is triggered, we do not perform any detailed investigation. Let's look into problem management from an IT perspective. Let's assume we have a desktop computer where we are encountering a blue screen error. Once the blue screen error is triggered, an incident is generated because it is deviating from its normal way of operation. We normally restart the system and check if it is up and running fine. In most of the instances, the system would be working normally after restart. Here, we are restoring the issue back to its normal way of working, typically restoring the service. But we still do not know what has caused the blue screen error. The blue screen error came just because there is some problem internally in the system which is not visible to us unless we get the blue screen error on the monitor. Now you can relate the tree example with the visible and the invisible part of it. To investigate and diagnose what have actually caused the blue screen error, you would need to invoke the problem management process. The objective of the problem management process is to identify the root cause and eliminate it. In the blue screen issue, now we have to identify what are all the sources which could have caused the blue screen error. At first, the causes needs to be listed down. Then each and every cause has to be diagnosed one by one to identify which cause has triggered the blue screen error. We shall now list down all the possible causes of this blue screen error. They are driver update, software changes, memory issues, and display card. After identifying the possible causes of the problem, we shall then perform detailed investigation on each possible cause to identify if that specific cause has triggered the blue screen error. Driver update. Was there any recent drivers installed in the system for the display adapter or for any other hardware? Was there any software recently installed or uninstalled from the system? Was there any physical memory issues identified like physical memory dump, etc.? Or is the display card faulty? After detailed diagnosis of all four possible causes, we finally identified that the issue is with the display card. Now, display card is called the root cause of this blue screen error. Ideally, in an infrastructure environment, 
the root cause identified shall be validated by the client. Normally, the root cause analysis is performed by a person who has expertise in the domain for she or he would be able to list down all the possible causes. Having identified the root cause, we need to eliminate the root cause completely as the objective of problem management is not only to identify the root cause but also to eliminate it. We normally append or change something to the existing environment to fix the root cause. Here in this example, the display card needs to be replaced. In order to replace a faulty hardware, we would raise a change ticket. Change management process is involved in eliminating the root cause of the problem. Once the change has been approved, we implement the change eliminating the root cause completely. Hope you have had a clear understanding of what a problem is and how a problem needs to be approached. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If in case you need any queries or suggestions or feedback on this ITIL related video, please contact the below email address. Thank you for your time.